In this video, I will go through your semester final exam review packet and specifically for chapter three, questions 15 through 18. So in chapter three, we were learning how to solve when you have inequalities. And in this case, you're gonna have more than one solution uh, because if you say X is greater than two uh, for an answer, that means there's a lot of numbers greater than two. And so I wanna show you not only how to solve, but how to graph each of these. So the first two problems are singular inequalities. And then the second two are called compound inequalities because two inequalities work together. So for the first inequality, you solve it much like you would if there was an equal sign here instead of a greater than sign. And so you're gonna isolate your X like we normally would. And we're gonna do that by subtracting six on both sides. So now we have two X is greater than negative 14. And if I divide by the number two, I would have X is greater than negative seven. And so that's my answer. Now it doesn't ask you to graph for this question, but just in case you had to graph on uh, your final exam, it would look something like this. Give yourself a number line, and we wanna make sure we mark negative seven. So I'm gonna put just a couple other numbers for reference. Now at negative seven, you're gonna have an open circle, and then greater than means we're gonna shade to the right. And notice how when the X is on the left side, the arrow points you in the direction that you should go. So in this case, shade to the right. For number 16, what we want to do is distribute our negative 2 to the x and to the negative 4. So negative 2x plus 8, and that is less than or equal to 3x minus 12. Now when I solve for inequalities, I like to have my x on the left side because then my inequality points me in the direction I need to shade. So I'm going to move my x's to the left side. Now I know I'm gonna get a negative, but that's okay, I can deal with that later. So negative five X plus eight is less than or equal to negative 12. And now if I subtract my eight over to the other side so my X's are alone, I have negative five X is less than or equal to negative 20. Now if I divide or multiply by a negative number, the inequality sign in the middle is gonna flip directions. So if I divide both sides by negative five, my inequality sign is now gonna flip, and a negative 20 divided by negative five is positive four. And that's actually gonna be our answer. And for my graph on the number line, I'm gonna put four in the middle and a couple other numbers for reference, so a number larger to the right, a number smaller to the left, I'm gonna circle four in this case and shade it in because this says equal to. And again, on this one, we're actually gonna to shade to the right as well because my arrow says to the right, but X is greater than, numbers greater than are also to the right. Now for number 17, notice how your X is in between two inequality symbols. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is add one and solve for X in the middle and you wanna to solve to both sides. So we're gonna take negative 15 plus one, which will get us negative 15, and less than or equal to now three X in the middle, less than or equal to six, um, actually just less than, not equal to for that symbol. And now if I divide by three, I need to do that on both sides. So let's simplify here. Negative 15 divided by three is negative five. That's less than or equal to X less than symbol here, six divided by three is two. So this is my compound inequality. Now, when you don't see the word or, notice how this compound says the word or, if you don't see that word, then that means this is an and inequality. And what we're gonna do is shade in the middle of these two numbers, and it should go in order smallest to biggest. So negative five over here, zero roughly here, and two roughly here. I'm gonna fill in and bubble in negative five. I'm gonna shade towards two, but the circle at two is gonna be open because this does not also say equal to. For number 18, we're gonna solve this or compound inequality just separately. So solve this inequality, graph it, solve this inequality, graph it, and generally your or problems are gonna be shading outside, kind of like ors on a boat. So I'm gonna add three here to start and I have negative two X greater than eight. Now if I divide by a negative two, I have X is now gonna flip my sign less than, um, divide by negative two, 
uh, negative 4. So that's going to be one of my inequalities. For this side, if I subtract 2 over, I'm going to have 3x is greater than or equal to negative 3. And if I divide both sides by 3, I have x is greater than or equal to negative 1. So these are my two inequalities. I'll just box them to make it easier. So less than negative 4 or greater than or equal to negative 1. So I'm going to put 0 in the middle, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Maybe we'll put a couple numbers over here. So I'll circle negative 4. Notice how my arrow points to the left, so I'm going to shade to the left. I'll circle negative 1 and fill it in and then shade to the right because it says greater than, it points me in that right direction. And that is a review for chapter three.